one. So today, we're cruising with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. We're not holiday decor. Well, I don't know. Are we holiday decor hunting? We might be holiday pie dish hunting. Today, though, or in this video, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's like 8.30 in the morning. I don't even know. My brain isn't even functioning. It is the day before Thanksgiving. And ghoul, like, you're like, oh, are you prepared? Do you have all your food made or, like, you know, prepped? No, absolutely not. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. Railroad tracks. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, but, um, so, uh, who's calling me? Hello? Yeah, that's you. I know. <laughs> I know. Is that not the funniest thing? <laughs> okay, well, I have fun prepping all your stuff. Okay, sounds good. Love okay, you. Okay, love you too. All right, bye. All right, so my mom called on my way to Target. Uh, we're here now. We have arrived. Uh, but longest story longer, we're doing a Thanksgiving vlog. That's what this video is. So I'm going to vlog as we do some grocery shopping. We have some last minute things to pick up on Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, no, it's not Thanksgiving. The day before Thanksgiving at 8 47 in the morning so good morning everyone from the zombie apocalypse and in, it's inside of my soul <laughs> so we're just free balling it today no makeup no nothing i'm just i'm in full comfort mode we're going into target we're going to do some grocery shopping we're also going to do some food prepping today and uh because i'm making the brussels oh, we'll talk all about that we normally do our thanksgiving shopping like our thanksgiving grocery shopping we normally do this in a whole separate video but i thought this year i was like you know what it'd be kind of fun to vlog the whole thanksgiving experience because normally we have thanksgiving at my house uh where it's just me and dallas and we've done that for years but this year my mom's having it we have family coming in town it's a whole big thing so i was like and it's lucian's first thanksgiving so i figured you know what why not do a whole vlog where we vlog the whole the whole thing the grocery shopping the cooking the thanksgiving extravaganza everything so here we are we're doing it and we're going into target before the crowds get out that's what we're hoping for because target's gonna probably get crazy sooner than later so here we go we're getting into target we're going in All right, Mr. Skeleton, you sleeping, sir? Same. Honestly, same. Okay, just left Target, and I got almost everything I needed. I don't know if anyone else does this. Let me know in the comments, but does anyone else stock stores to see if you can get all of the things you need at one store? Because I feel like it's impossible. I feel like I got to go to a million stores, find everything I need, and so what I do is I either go on... What's going on? Uh, I either go on like Instacart and see what stores have. So I type in what I need and see which stores have it. Or I go to the Target app and it turns out Target actually had literally almost everything I needed. Like everything but one single thing. I need gluten-free ginger snaps for my ginger snap crust for my pumpkin pie. Which I was going to talk about that. Basically since we're going to my mom's this year for Thanksgiving... Uh, I don't have to make a full Thanksgiving feast, which is kind of sad uh, because I, Dallas and I love having our full blown, like the same meal every single year. We look forward to it every year. And so I'm excited because I get to see family and it's Lucian's first, I almost said Christmas, it will be. It's his first Thanksgiving, so I'm all excited. Sorry about everything rustling around in the back. But I will say the perks of having Thanksgiving at our house with just the two of us is I know I can eat everything on the table uh, because I do have celiac disease. So it's not the end of the world. Obviously, I feel like Thanksgiving is more about family and spending time with loved ones and all that kind of stuff. So obviously, we're going to my mom's this year, so I'm not sweating it too hard. But I do love having a good old grand meal where I can eat everything on the table. So tomorrow, I'll be able to have mashed potatoes. I'm bringing the Brussels sprouts that I made uh, if you remember that video, the spooky kitchen video where I made those Brussels sprouts with the shiitake mushrooms and jalapenos, I'll link it in the description if you didn't ever see it or you want it, you're interested in it. I know this will be after Thanksgiving, but it's also a great holiday dish in general. If you're having a Friendsgiving or holiday, whatever, and you want to bring Brussels sprouts, it's such a good recipe. It is delicious. So I got all this stuff for that. Uh, and then I'm making my own bourbon pumpkin pie because... Uh, Pumpkin pies normally, of course, have gluten in the crust, 
So I can't normally have just regular pumpkin pie. It, it sucks. Trust me. It sucks. If you're celiac, it's the holiday season every single year. It, it disappoints every time, um, unless you make your own food and then you can have a grand old holiday season, but it sucks to be celiac. If you're celiac, then you know, but, um, yeah, it's, it, I it never, oh, geez, I, cars yelling at me. Maybe I'll park over here. I'm used to it, but the holiday season every year gets me. Because if I want something good, I pretty much have to make it. Which is fine. It's fine. I don't expect anyone else to cater to me or whatever. Like, I don't expect any of that. But sometimes it's just easier to go to someone's house and eat, you know? And, you know, I, I've, I've it's been so many years now that I, I really don't think about it. Unless I'm talking openly about it. Otherwise, I just live my life. So, anyways. Uh, what were we going to talk about? Oh, so longest story longer, I need to get ginger snaps for my pumpkin pie because I'm making a bourbon pumpkin pie to bring. So I'm making two of my superstars, so I hope they do well tomorrow. There's nothing better. I don't know if anyone else feels this way. Maybe it's just like if you're a person who loves to feed people, which I do. I don't know. There's just something about making your star dish and bringing it to somebody's house. This is your dish your dish you know what I mean let me know your dish down in the comments like what is the one thing like if you're invited to Friendsgiving what are you bringing let me know down in the comments and if you want to leave the recipe I wouldn't be mad because I bet it's delicious but yeah I want to know what your dish is down in the comments like I'm dying to know like I cannot wait to see what your dish is because I just love I don't know let me know also if you're the type that loves to feed people like you get excited to feed people like it makes your soul happy to watch people eat your food like I don't know if there's anything I mean obviously there are a lot of things that compare but it's it's a good feeling I'll say that okay anyways longest story longer we have a lot of those today we're going into home goods <laughs> here we are 9 30 just open we're sitting in the parking lot waiting for this this place to open <laughs> and we're gonna go in I'm looking I, I have a pie dish at home but I really wanted a holiday pie dish and I saw one here it was a nutcracker one I'm sure it's long gone but maybe we'll have something else but I'm gonna go in I'm gonna take a gander just see what I can find if we don't see anything I won't be disappointed I'll just use the pie dishes I have I just I really kind of wanted or I'll use a Halloween one at that rate right Mr. Skeleton anyways longest story longer we're going into home goods here we go burr y'all it, it's cold Is that a skull? No, it's snowman. All right, we just left Home Goods. I'm so freaking excited because they had really good decor in there. I thought I had missed it all because I knew it all came out early. So I thought I had missed all the holiday decor as we were out kind of holiday hunting. I just feel like it was kind of slim pickings. And I was just at Home Goods the other day. And there wasn't much there. My mom found something, but I found nothing. So um, today, though, I was looking for a pie dish. And they had a nutcracker one there. We went a couple weeks ago, and I was like, there's no way that's still there. And sure enough, I don't know if it was the same one or just like a newer one that had come in. But they had a Christmas pie dish. It has a nutcracker and snowflakes on it. And I was so freaking excited because that's exactly what I was looking for. And I found it. And they also had some really cute, dang it, Joanna Parker towels. And if you know, you know, I love Joanna Parker, mainly during Halloween. But I also like just all of her vintage looking stuff. So, hold on, I want to break my dish. Look at this one with the Santa thought this was so cute. At first, I thought this little thing here was a skull <laughs> that he was holding. Like a skull wand, lollipop. I don't know what that is. But it's a snowman. Whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, Mr. Skeleton. I thought it was a skull at first. But I'm going to just pretend it is. And then this cute little set. I just love the vintage vibes. I think these are so cute. So, anyways, got those. I'm going to burp. Excuse me. Jeez. Sorry, Mr. Skeleton, I didn't mean to offend you. So anyways, we're here at Natural Grocers. I gotta go in and get literally one single individual thing. Uh, I need to get, well, I might get my, I don't know, I might get a couple things, but I'm definitely getting, oh man, I want those chocolate muffins. I'm gonna have to get those too. Uh, but I'm just going in to get, I'm already thinking of all the things I want. Uh, but I'm going in to get specifically gluten-free ginger snaps for my ginger snap crust. And that's what we're doing. So I'm going in right now. 
to natural grocers. My phone's about to die, but that's all right. We're going in. Mr. Skeleton, we are done shopping for the day. Hallelujah. It is 10 o'clock. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. And everywhere is getting busy. And we just skipped all the crowds. We got right in line. Oh, Mr. Skeleton, it feels good, sir. Feels good. Mr. Skeleton, look what we got, sir. My favorite. My mouth is watering. These flax chocolate muffins. Sounds terrible. I know. I say this every time. I think I ate these when we were out Halloween clearance hunting one year. I, they sound terrible. I've said this before. It sounds like the worst. Like, it sounds like eating dirt. I get it. Totally agree. But they taste so good. Like, they taste like... My mouth is watering. Like, a fudgy brownie. It is... Oh, my gosh. Hold on. They stick to your teeth. Because they are really that fudgy. But they're so good. I have no beverage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm dying. Anyways, I'll see you at home when we start prepping all of our stuff. Uh, I'll see ya when I see ya. Good morning, everyone. Happy Halloween and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's where we're at in life right now. Wait, let me clean off my my thing. My lens. Okay, do I have anything in my teeth? I just ate a bunch of these brownies. Okay, so... It's seven o'clock in the morning on Thanksgiving and here we are making our pie and our Brussels sprouts. So better late than never, I guess. So uh, yesterday was just a total, not a total disaster really. I, I came home, I finished my video and we did Dallas's hair and then it just, the, the rest of the night was, or day was just, where did it even go? We don't even know. Uh, all right, so what are we doing? We're doing our pumpkin pie first because we got to get this in the oven. We got to get it chilled. I'll have this recipe down in the description box. I did a whole video on this recipe, a whole spooky kitchen video. Uh, so I'll have it in the description. And if you're wondering, why don't you do more spooky kitchen Thanksgiving videos? But the truth is I make the same things every single year on Thanksgiving. So I don't really add things or switch them up. <laughs> so the recipes I have out... That's it, that's all I make usually. So I don't have anything new, but maybe one day I'll get creative with it. But right now I'm hanging on by a thread. So anyways, here we go. Uh, what do we start with? I don't even know. I don't even know what these directions are. I don't know what I did, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna start with the gingerbread crust. Do I need to preheat anything at all? Oh, 375. Man, I feel like I'm 100 years old. Okay, deep breaths. We preheated the oven. <laughs> Just took it out of us, everyone. Just took it out of us. Okay. I have my ginger snaps, my gluten-free ginger snaps that I got yesterday. And I'm going to put these in a food processor. How do you open this? Okay. Put the whole package in there, Jade? Are you sure? All right. We'll do it. Oh, the... I wonder when the parade comes on. When does the Thanksgiving parade come on? Good morning, Jade. Thanksgiving parade lasted three hours. Lasted? Jade, the 97th edition of the... Alexa, stop. You're doing too much. Okay, let's put these freaking things in here. Forgot to film that part, but here are all... I'm actually going to eat this one. Delicious. Delicious. I right, ate brown sugar. I didn't get anything out. We're just winging it today. Whatever. Okay, brown sugar is in. And then we need some butter. All right, I got my new pie dish. We're going to press this crust into this bad boy and hope for the best. We're pressing the crust into the pan. So you know what's really funny about this whole situation? So you know, I was trying to get ahead by making my pie yesterday, which I don't even know why I even try anymore. Like, I... <laughs> No, we're not getting ahead in this lifetime. But um, what I was going to say is normally every single year I make my pies in the morning and I watch the parade. And guess what we're going to be doing today? 
hanging out, making our pie and watching the parade. I love the parade. I don't know that there's anything super special about it. I just think it's like a tradition, I guess at this point. All right, crust is going in the oven five to seven minutes. Okay, we're moving on to our pie filling. We're cruising right along. All right, so I got ahead of myself and I forgot to show my pie going into the oven, but here it is. All right, here's what my pie looks like in all of its glory. It's going in a bourbon maple pumpkin pie with a maple sour cream. All right, pie is in the oven. We're now moving on to Brussels sprouts. I bought two bags of these. I think there's like gonna be a lot of people. I can't remember how much my mom said, but she said get two bags. So I think we're gonna make all these. I don't know if they're all going to fit in this dish, though. I don't know. We're going to try it out. So I need to cut up a bunch of these, or just cut in half a bunch of these Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to cut them in half, like so. And then I'm just going to put them in the dish so I can see how many I have. Because I don't want this dish to overflow. I need it to fit. Even if I have to make two of these, that's fine. I just need to know where I'm at. So we're just going to sit here and take on the tedious task. I should have done this yesterday. Who are we kidding? So by the time this comes out, Thanksgiving will be done. So I hope you had a good Thanksgiving or maybe you have Friendsgiving still coming up. I hope you had a good holiday and we're hoping everything runs smoothly, putting the positive vibes out there. And these are seriously the tiniest little Brussels sprouts. It's gonna take 500 years, I think. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just pretend. Okay, so we're just here chopping up our freaking. Brussels sprouts, and I meant to do a little wake up with Lucian this morning where I woke him up and told him happy Thanksgiving, but he woke up and had peed all over himself. So there's that. He was wearing his cute little Thanksgiving pajamas and peed all over the front of them. So, and he wears his overnight diapers and everything and he still peed all over the front of it. He's got two outfits for today because I have a feeling we're gonna give him some mashed potatoes. I have a feeling after he devours the mashed potatoes, He's gonna be a total mess. Like he's gonna get him everywhere, I already know it. And so we brought, we have a second outfit for him that we're bringing. Both are Thanksgiving outfits. Cause you know I went overboard. You know me, can't help it. Oh, I have six seconds left? Okay, 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 hold on. Hold the phone, I'm gonna put this foil on. All right, just checking in, we got Neens here now. And we're currently with the Thanksgiving parade still on. And we're shaking our Brussels sprouts, preparing them for the oven. And our little, gotta make it spooky always. Our that Ziploc baggie. Okay, right everyone, we're back. Totally ran out of time. And I'm scrambling while watching the dog show, by the way, uh, to finish all this up. Lucian is napping. He'll be up in time to basically leave. So we'll get him ready, get in the car, go. Hopefully, I'm hoping this goes smoothly. That's, that's the idea. Uh, I still need to get dressed. I'm wearing my robe. But I'm finishing up this cherry balsamic reduction situation that goes on top of the Brussels sprouts. And then we are done with the Brussels sprouts. I'll show you what they look like. They turned out so good. They look delicious. The Brussels sprouts are perfectly roasted. It, it couldn't have gone better. I'm so excited about this dish. Uh, it just looks like Thanksgiving to me. I'm so excited about it. Do everyone hear Thanksgiving outfit? Say happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Gobble till you wobble. Lucian, I know, bud. All right, hey everyone, we are now on our way to grandma's house. We're running about 30 minutes late, no big deal. <laughs> you knew we would. Uh, but Lucian is not sweating it, and neither am I. I'm not gonna sweat it. So uh, we're almost there, and we're gonna have a full on Thanksgiving feast. Lucian, are you excited for your first Thanksgiving, bud? Uh. Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see ya when I see ya. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. The table's so pretty. Pretty solution spot. Is there any potatoes on there? Oh, there it goes. I not seen it. Let me see. Let me see that. Josh hand. up. Lucian's first potatoes. He's kind of leaning over now. <laughs> yeah. He's trying. There you go. Oh, yummy. Ooh. Yum. Oh, there's the face. Oh, they're good. <laughs> hey, everyone. We're back home. I'm here with little Neens snuggling in bed. Dallas is eating a piece of pie. We, I kind of fell off the face of the planet. Lucian started 
uh, fussing at my mom's house. So we came home, he made it halfway through a bottle and fell asleep and he's been asleep ever since. So he had a big day and it was a good time at my mom's. We had fun, we ate food, had some drinks and now we're at home and we are resting in the, okay. So one of the reasons I didn't film when I got home is because we came home to a total disaster and I feel so bad. So Neen's when we leave the house, Neens, uh, ever since we moved into this house, we put Neens, and when Bailey was here, we put Bailey and Neens in the laundry room. And Bailey had a little kennel in there, and Neens has this little bed with um, some blankets and stuff in the laundry room. It's always been this way. So we left, we come home, I open the door, Neens is nowhere to be found. I'm like, wait, she can't escape. There's no way. But I hear her crying. And I don't know where she could possibly be because seriously, there's nowhere for her to go. Um, she somehow trapped herself between the wall and a laundry basket. But the laundry basket was pushed completely against the wall. So like it was basically where the trim is and all that. Like there was like no space at all. Barely any space for her to get through. She was stuck between the wall and this laundry basket. This has not happened in the 12 years we've lived here. Never has this happened. She had pooped all over herself because she was either scared or in pain or both. I don't know. And it was everywhere. She had scratched up her face a little bit right here and on her shoulder and her little butt a little bit. She'd scratched up like trying to get out of there. I am so glad we came home when we did because I don't know how long she had been there in that little area or... I don't know. I, I I feel so guilty or so bad. Like, like she's never gone in this area. So I don't know if she's going blind now because her eyesight was fine. Um, or if she's maybe losing, you know, maybe getting some doggy Alzheimer's. Or maybe it was just something random. Maybe she was looking for a good spot. I don't know. But she has like two huge, really cozy blankets and an orthopedic bed and a rug and another bed in there like she has so many beds in this little area and it's not a huge area like it's not too much space but there's not anywhere for her to go and like we've blocked off the areas by the dryer and everything so she can't go back there and literally the space was this like tiny like there was no space there so anyways we moved the laundry basket out of there we're not going to keep a laundry basket in our laundry room like screw it i don't care um I just, anything to protect her, I I just can't believe that happened. And I don't know what the other option is or where she needs to go. And putting her in a kennel, I feel like at this point, it's the safest thing for her. But I don't know. I think as far as for her stress and her heart, it wouldn't be the safest for her. Because she's scared and not used to a kennel. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, We might have to put her like we did with Bailey where we kind of blocked off an area of her bedroom like a little corner area where she can't get anywhere or do anything. But even then, like, I just don't know. I just feel so guilty. So, so anyways, I brought her up. I washed her off. Um, and I put some little doggy Neosporin on her cuts. But we're not going anywhere all weekend. We're going to be staying with her and snuggling with her and making sure she's okay. So now we're snuggling extra hard in bed. And we're getting ready to watch our tradition, which is You've Got Mail. That's our Thanksgiving tradition. Every single year, Dallas and I watch You've Got Mail because there's a part that says, Happy Thanksgiving back. And we say that every single Thanksgiving. I'll say like, Happy Thanksgiving. And he'll say, Happy Thanksgiving back. <laughs> and that's like our part. If you know You've Got Mail, you know. And so anyways, that's pretty much it for our Thanksgiving. We ate a really good meal at my mom's house. We had a great time. Uh, and I'm just so like, I'm beating myself up though, because every single year we stay home for Thanksgiving and the one year we don't means is, uh, somehow gets trapped against a wall in a laundry basket. Like, I don't even know how that happens, but you know what? I'm not going to do my send off yet because we're going to meet tomorrow. We're going to meet doing my favorite thing ever. And if you know, you know, my favorite thing ever is eating pumpkin pie the morning after Thanksgiving. It is like my, another tradition I do every single year where I eat my pumpkin pie every morning, <laughs> the day after Thanksgiving, so. Good morning, everyone. Well, almost afternoon, but whatever. It's 10.56 in the morning-ish. And, oh, I can't set this up. Come on. I need some coffee 
majorly and some pie. But let me tell you, I have to tell you because I have to tell somebody. I need to talk about it, get it off my chest. First and foremost, Lucian woke up every two hours last night. He was like starving to death all night long. I don't know what was going on. I think it's because when we go places, like whenever we're around a lot of people or actually just people in general or just get outside of his schedule here at home, he he doesn't want to eat as much. Like he gets distracted. And so I'll give him a baba or bottle or whatever you want to call it. And he like is looking around and doesn't want to eat, right? So then he gets home and he's starving to death. And so all night long, every two hours, he wanted to eat and he went right back to bed. So it's not like he was crying or fussing or had a belly ache or anything. He was just wanted to eat and would go straight back down. The good news is he went straight back down. He'd sleep for another couple hours, then wake up again. But Google is tired. Ugh. I was so tired that I went back to sleep when he was napping at, was it eight o'clock or I don't know, this morning sometime. And um, I had this nightmare. It like, I thought I was honestly, like I don't remember like in my dream, I remember now and before I went to sleep, but like in my dream, I didn't remember putting Lucian down. And so I'm like thinking my dream is real. We go to this mall and it was several stories high and I was trying to get down to the main level so I could get to my car and go home. So I kept trying to go to the first floor, but this elevator would not go to the first floor. It went to every other floor and would not go to this first floor and I needed to get home. And so these, like I'm freaking out because I think this is real. And then uh, at one point, these two little, like little gremlin looking kids come in and they're like one of them hits number one, like the, the, the floor I needed to go to. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thankfully the one of these kids figured it out. And I'm like, oh, and now that these other people are in the elevator with me, that means I'm gonna get off on this floor. No, it goes down to the first floor and then it just keeps going down, like to the basement, to this other basement, to the basement of the basement of the basement. I don't know where it was going, but I look at the kids and I'm like, I needed to get off at one. And they were like, you're not getting off this elevator. And it was the creepiest thing I've ever, <laughs> I've ever dreamt in my entire life. I was trapped in this elevator in my body at the same time. And I couldn't wake up and I'm like, get me out of here. And I'm like screaming, get me out of here. And it was horrifying. And then I woke up and I was like, hallelujah, that was a dream. Like I was in such a deep sleep that I, 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 I was freaking out. Like I thought it was for real or that I was somewhere else and I was either like trapped in some alternate universe or like going through some sort of psychosis or something. Like it freaked me out, y'all. Freaked me out. So anyways, now I'm making breakfast. <laughs> and I need coffee. <laughs> we have this much pie left still because I, we didn't make it to the dessert part because Lucian did not make it. So he was getting real tired. So they took half, so my mom took half the pie and sent me with the rest, which is perfect because now I have some for breakfast. I'm so excited. Okay, sorry about the washing machine making the most noise. By the way, Means is doing amazing. She ate her dinner last night. She was acting totally normal. When we got home, she was a little upset about the whole situation, but now she's totally fine. So whatever that means, I, I cleaned her up. And like I said, I put some little doggy Neosporin or whatever it was on her. And then uh, she seems to be doing really well today, just sleeping and being a good girl. But Man, that scared me. Okay, anyways, this is kind of a small piece of pie. We might have two, <laughs> but you know me. And I freaking forgot to get the whipped cream. I could go out today, but I'm not going to. Uh, anyways, so here's my piece of pie. We're eating this for a late breakfast. Here we go. It's so good. Every time. Every time, never disappoints. Or something about pumpkin pie for breakfast. It just gets me going. I love it. Cheers to my fellow pumpkin pie for breakfast eaters out there. <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> I'm gonna do my send off, but I can't stop stuffing my face. It's so good. Oh, also, I realized I totally forgot to get the footage of the whole spread. That's like the best part of Thanksgiving. And I didn't get one single image of the spread. Anyways, I was distracted per usual. 
Anyways, that is it for this Thanksgiving vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and my family. We did some shopping, we drank some beverages, we ate the most food, which I didn't even get visuals of, but that's okay. We, we still stuffed our faces and now we're here and it is time for the holiday season. I officially need to get this Halloween stuff down. I'm working on it today. Anyways, longest story longer. Thank you for hanging out here. I'm so thankful for the spooky family and just hanging out and jabbing our jaws together. It's my favorite thing ever. So thank you for being spooky family. I wanted to do a proper send off and have our little morning after pumpkin pie together. So um, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, Gul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And let me know also down in the comments anything we chit chatted about, your signature Thanksgiving dish or, or maybe you're a fellow pumpkin pie for breakfast eater out there. Let me know down in the comments. But anyways, hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for hanging out here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.